My name is Dr. Craig McGowan. Uh, I'm from the University of Idaho. I'm a comparative biomechanist, uh, and I'm here at the Alma Park Zoo in uh, Brisbane, Australia, studying how kangaroos move. The goal of today's research, or uh, actually it's been a two-week long process, the team is interested in trying to understand how um, the kangaroo, the group of kangaroos, change their body posture and hopping mechanics with body size. Uh, there are a number of species or animal groups that, uh, as they get larger, they adopt more and more upright postures that reduces the mechanical demands on the musculature, so it increases their mechanical advantage. Uh, within the kangaroos, they don't appear to do that. They all maintain a, a fairly crouched posture, um, and they all hop bipedally, uh, at least at high speeds. So um, we've got some data for a smaller group of animals, up to about six kilograms and now we're extending that data set to include animals uh, that are as much as 30 kilograms. The Vicon system has really uh, opened up a lot of avenues and, and frankly has reduced the workload tremendously. Uh, most of my work previously has been with just uh, regular light video, high speed light video in which we have to go back and hand digitize all of the markers uh, on the animal so to quantify the motion which is hours and hours and hours of of work uh, and the Vicon system does that for us automatically. Uh, further it enables us to uh, really get real-time feedback of the forces acting on the body, the forces the animals generating on the force plate so we can tell if we've got good data right away or if we need to try and uh, collect more. Icon outdoor system or even an indoor system is really beneficial and it's speedy. It lets me capture the force plate data and also the Vicon camera data as the animal is passing through this corridor and it just automatically writes it to the hard drive. When I stop the trial it automatically advances to the next trial. In the meantime that frees up my hands lets me um, start a trial early and then try to record some high-speed video because it does take a little bit more time and it's much, much easier. It can generate a lot of data a lot more quickly. I can process these trials within a couple of hours, whereas with just regular high-speed video, generally you have to do a lot of manual or auto-tracking, and even still it does take a while to do. All right, that's it. Yep, we've, uh, we've put in seven good hard days. Uh, we've got a lot of really great data. Um, and with the help of Icon, we're going to be able to analyze it a lot easier. Um, today was a good day. We had, the last animal we had was just fantastic. We got a lot of really good trials. Um, we got a lot of data from both the gray kangaroos and the red kangaroos. Um, and we should be able to get a, a pretty nice paper out of this. Um, and it's going to really add to the, the database that we're looking for to understand how uh, the mechanical forces, the loads that are acting on the body, shape the bones and the musculoskeletal structure. So uh, all in all, it's been a fantastic trip. Uh, a lot of thanks to the park here. Uh, Alma Park Zoo has been really, really fantastic with us. And, uh, it's been a great trip. <laughs>